Alright, hi guys, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of the changes made to the Raven client in the more recent updates. These changes were uh, basically being made because of the fact that our reworked core had finally landed in Starus Engine, allowing us to actually create a, a cross-platform uh, sort of client here that would connect to servers alongside connect to uh, a local instance of craft server for single player play as well. But before we go ahead and get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could go down there, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. It's free and it really helps me out, so I'd really appreciate it. Either way, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Looking here, this is basically my desktop. Up here in the top right corner is going to be the Minecraft server. Uh, this pretty much is just going to be running uh, a standard Java edition server. And down here is Wireshark, which is a tool that lets me see conversations. And right now it's tuned to see a conversation between my PSP and this uh, Minecraft server. Uh, I also have Raven Client uh, for Windows over here also opened up as well. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start up Raven Client, uh, which has a nice little graphical interface which you guys can see. Uh, here we go. If I were to hit single player here, it would try to attempt to connect to a local running version of Craft Server, which isn't packaged into a PRX yet, so you can't actually go ahead and uh, run in single player mode yet, uh, but that will be supported on the PC and it will come to the PSP uh, once it's stable and ready. Either way, if we go ahead and hit the multiplayer option, it's going to go ahead and assume it based off of some properties found uh, in the client properties JSON file, and it's going to go ahead and try to connect to the server. In this case, it's going to connect to the Minecraft server running on my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and hit multiplayer, and it's going to ask me for connection details. i uh, take hotspot, and we're going to connect. We'll take about a second here and we'll show uh, some conversation logs which just popped up here. Um, and it basically does a very simple uh, sort of ping. It pings the server, asks for the uh, general sort of data like the description, uh, the number of players online, the version of the server it's running and stuff like that. And then it goes ahead and actually goes and gives it a sample ping to test latency and then basically it shuts the connection. That's the very basic test that we're doing in this uh, sort of video uh, and it logs it to an output file. It doesn't log it to the screen um, but if I did have a debugger attached it would be uh, basically running. So if I had like PSP link running over USB then it would detect that. So right here we have Raven Client for the PC. If we go ahead and run that, we can see the same exact sort of thing here. Uh, if we hit the multiplayer option, uh, it goes ahead and states uh, all the information that was uh, outputted uh, pretty much. It's the same exact stuff that would be outputted on the PSP uh, if I had a debugger attached. So you can see it's getting the description uh, for the server, which is Hello World, uh, the number of players online, so the maximum player is one on the server and number of online is zero. The version is 1.13.2 with the protocol of 404, which is the 1.13 protocol. And then it does a uh, ping and it gets the response, which is the same thing as the ping. And that's pretty much it. Uh, in the future, I'll be doing version checks and stuff like this off of that. Uh, and if it doesn't connect, it does throw a bunch of errors. Either way, that's the first sort of connection test here for Raven Clients, a uh, brand new snapshot for uh, PC and PSP. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another update video.